Good evening, and welcome back to Factorio Space Expression. Well, we're getting closer. We're definitely getting closer. We are definitely getting closer. Joined as ever by Nerdy our Gamer, who uh, you're building the explosive things there. Well, I'm going to go and find make more glass because I need glass to make more chemical plants. That's why I was down here. All right. That Makes was the sense. Plan. Makes sense. I wandered mm. over here. Completely forgot what I was doing. Now we need copper plate. But we got hit by a big meteor. We did. And uh, yeah. that is something that we need to take into consideration moving forward. We need to make meteor point defense stuff. Yes. Which yes, also takes smack glass. Us. Right smack bang there. And uh, hurt us things. Uh, many things take glass, it would appear. Yeah. Uh, and it's just a brick. We need concrete for the meteor point defense. Concrete we're good for. Yeah. Small electric concrete motors, we which we're for. not good or good for. Uh, they're not on the bus anyway. Yeah, ele electric motors are definitely a thing that we're going to need more of. Yeah. Electronic circuits. Uh, uh. Oh, do I wish I could build some construction robots? But I can't because they require yeah. big electric motors, and big electric motors requires lubricant, uh. and we don't even have lubricant researched, I don't believe. We don't have uh, researched. Have we done advanced fuel processing? Oh, d does that take advanced fuel processing? I see. Okay, then probably no. A fuel refinery on me, but I haven't got a uh, refinery there. We have, we are, however, researching um, electric furnaces. Okay. Which I feel is a good thing, but does require a complete rework of what we currently have. Yeah. So, maybe That's we won't okay. do that soon. We'll do that later. Later rather than sooner. Yeah. And also, also discovered uh, there is a thing here, uh, the electric boilers, um, which uh, I was trying to scratch my head being like, why would electric boilers be useful? But of course, they don't require fuel, so you could put them wherever, and they don't require the belt running in with fuel in them. They just work off electricity until your electricity fails, and then oh. everything goes wrong. Yeah, then there's a problem. So you're going in there. It doesn't really matter if input or output is one or the other. So we can do that. Yeah. And we can turn you around, turn you around. We actually don't need output there or there. We need output there and. Oh, there. we need to get the uh, the robot system running. Mm -hmm. Set up having to walk all the way back there to uh, pick up stuff. Yeah, we actually don't need this at all. Uh, what are they destroying yeah. now? Yeah. Oh, that's all right. You can you can fight that. That's fine. Yeah, that's okay. Really weird clicking that guy to the map. It's like pitch black. Yeah. All right, we're making rockets, explosive rockets. Uh, that's good. I have a rocket launcher. Me too. Um, right. Uh, I was going to. Uh... This really doesn't need to be over here, does it? I mean, we can easily fix that. Oh, um... I was going to go and find that. Why do I only have one underground? Need to go get some more undergroundies. Some undergroundies are the easy best. to be able to find them. They're in flashing boxes. 
Oh, very cool. Apparently we could uh, actually have them come to us. Oh. Yeah, we could. We one could. day. One day soon. Soon. Yes. Do I have a lot of green circuits? I do. Let's just put them in there. So I am hoping that Arsenal does better today than they did last week. Because the Crystal Palace game was a disaster. I, I am um, also hoping the same and also taken somewhat aback by your sudden change of conversation. <laughs> because I'm uh, I'm excited for the game. Yeah, yeah that, that's true, but, but we were talking about explosives and now you're talking about Arsenal. I'm like, what? what? Yeah, well, uh, we're not that good. We're not that good. Yeah, but uh, well, Arsenal is uh, a place where you keep explosives. That is true. That is true. Put them down the wrong way. There we go. More explosives. Oot. How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? Well, okay. okay. We have some. We have some. Right. Um, what else needs doing? Lubricant. Construction robots would help us out a lot. Uh, also, cannon shells. Are you going to do cannon shells as well there? or? Yes, I can. Okay. What I may do then uh, is... Except I need two other things. But two other things that we have. So we can do that. No problem. Um, what am I picking up? What is that? Oh, engine units. That's right. Okay. So, ah, they're right. Uh, oh, turn my personal trash on again. Uh, I can make thirty-six jetpacks. Okay, do you, do you <laughs> need thirty-six jetpacks? <laughs> Depends. I mean, I want to go to space, so thirty-six jetpacks will get me there. Yeah. Apparently, they consume fuel like water. So, okay. May not be a great idea to uh, muck about with them. And also, I have no more slots in my inventory. I had to give up two batteries to you uh, so that I could build a, uh, a personal robot port that I can't use. <laughs> hmm. um, but that wasn't what I came in here for. I came in here for because I wanted to build some meteor point defense. Because I want to find out, like, the ranges of them and things to see where we're going to put them. I don't need to make solar panels. Uh, also, uh, do you know what I'm gonna do? No, nope. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I know, I'm not gonna muck about with it. We're gonna build one point defense so we can see the range of it and stuff like that. But I'm gonna go right next door to you. You're not gonna use the thing next to you, are you? Are you gonna? Uh, what thing? What the, thing? Uh, the um, the the thing. Uh, the space. The thing. You know the thing? No, no. Oh. I I I don't think I'm planning on using the thing. Okay. Cool. Um, <laughs> I'm glad we understand each other. Uh, um, <laughs> and I'm gonna build laser turrets. Sounds like I'm a plan. Think, make laser turrets. I um, think that's uh, a very good use of the thing. Yes. Yes. The thing. And now, look, is that weird film in my head? Uh, oh, uh, here's a, a, a giant rocket thing. Uh, meteor point defense. That's an okay range. <laughs> I feel like it could be better. <laughs> What's the range? If you zoom right out and then mouse over it, you see the green circle. Oh, yeah. It's a little disappointing, if I'm honest with you. I thought they were better than that. I suppose you just cover key important areas. Yeah, probably. Rather than the whole base, maybe? Or you just put many of them in and... Uh... Yeah. Do it that way. Disabled by script, is it? Are you sure? Are you sure it's just not disabled uh, by power? It said, has a range of 64 and an accuracy of 50%. So we need That's more than one. Which can be 
toggled by R. Quick charge mode, normal charge mode. There you go. It says disabled by script, which concerns me. Well, doesn't that just mean that it's because there's no... Either no ammo in it or no nothing to shoot down? Possibly. Let's build an ammo for it. I've got it on standard charge mode at the moment. You mouse over and push R to switch to modes on it. And okay. You can switch things quick, and that quick charge mode is really energy inefficient, but charges quickly. Um, okay. So I suppose if you're in an area, a planet that's being bombarded by asteroids, you can... Uh, yeah. Fix it. I feel like we're being anyway. bombarded by asteroids, kind of. Got a shell in it. It still says disabled by script at the top. But isn't it just because it's not charged yet? Well, it is charged because it has three hundred something percent. Yeah, it's got three of four. Is it because there's nothing? Uh, maybe, maybe it only activates when the thing goes. Hey, meteorite's coming. Yeah. Well, what I'll do is I'll move it from there because it's in the way there. Uh, and uh, oh no, I don't want to make another one. And I'll put it down. I'll put it here. Seems a good enough place. There you go. Uh, uh, okay, they, they killed him. You put the water. No, 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 no. What? What did you do? Uh, the thing, uh, the uh, underground. He didn't recognize that there was a belt for some reason which is weird oh. there you go. it's got four shells in it so i suppose we'll leave it and see what it does yeah <laughs> yeah okay so in order to make lasers firing my lasers i need to make batteries mm -hmm. small electric motors now, conveniently, I can just work. come over here to where we're making smaller electrode somewhere else and copy the thing. I have to come down after. Why is it not doing that? It's copper wire, is that it? Okay, so steel plate. We need steel plate and Jesus. plastic bars. Ah, uh, uh, steel plate on there. Uh, on that. You don't want the steel plates on there. Break that one. Uh, iron so gears and out six here. copper cable. We need a splitteroo there. We need a splitteroo there. Wow. It's three to one to make small electric motors. That's, uh, yeah, they're they're quite expensive. As far as I recall, yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm impressed. Um, so while we're doing all this serious stuff, I want to tell you a little bit of a story um, uh, oh. that happened to me earlier today. Well, oh, it doesn't start once upon a time. Oh. No. Well, I suppose earlier today was once upon a time. <laughs> uh, but uh, I was recording... Um, what's it called? Uh, the, the Only game. you can answer that question. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I, I was recording um, Total War Warhammer 3. And I was in the middle of a battle with... Uh, the Plague Lord's minions, the Poxmakers of Nurgle, and uh, in the middle of that battle, all of a sudden, uh, just a horrid, horrid, horrid stench uh, filled my nose. From the game? In, in, well, it wasn't from the game. Uh, but it, it smelled so bad. It, it, it smelled like someone had died, basically. Ooh, uh, nice. Uh, uh. And 
I looked around. I'm sure I'm going to get some new tires. And, and I looked around uh, and, and I looked behind me and my cat was in the chair behind me and she was looking at me like, what? And, and then she made like a, she had farted and it, it, it was a smell of death. It was the smell of death. And, and she, she looked really proud of herself. Like, yeah, that was me. Are you sure your cat's not a dog? <laughs> that sounds like a dog thing to do. It does sound like a dog thing to do. But apparently, uh, cats can be that disgusting as well. It, it was, it was, it was, yeah. It, it, it was, it was horrid. Lovely. What a wonderful thing for, for people watching to eat their lunch too. Yeah! And I thought it was worth sharing. Oh! We'll be making. Uh, assembly machines and pipes and things. Yes, we are. When did you do that? <laughs> a long, long time ago, and I also told you a long, long time ago. Ah, I've slept since then. That's why. Ah. Okay. Cool. How's our ammo coming? Uh, our ammo storage box is full. Yes. And we're making rockets and we're making cannon shells. I'm replacing the ammo storage box with a passive provider chest. Not that it work at all, but I'm just doing it as I'm going around being like, yeah, that one, that one. Yeah, makes sense to me. Makes sense to me. Should probably change the... Uh, uh, inserted one as well because then I cover they'd be like, Where is it? It's the flashing one. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a good idea. But I walked away now, so I'm not doing that. Ah, <laughs> you're lazy. <laughs> not lazy, I walked all the way over there. I could have taken the car if I knew where I parked the car. <laughs> um, Alright, well, we have explosive cannon shells, we have explosive rockets. Um. What do speed modules do again? As in, what how, what do they increase? Twenty percent. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> we need to make grenade uh, or uh, cliff explosives as well, don't we? And that takes empty barrels and grenades. Grenades are in the box. Yeah. So I'm thinking for now. We hand feed grenades to this production, and when we get the roboports and stuff up and going, the roboports can just feed grenades to the cliff explosives because we don't need that many of them. No, 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 no. We only really need. Well, we really only ever need like two stacks made, you know? Yeah, exactly. So empty barrels. I guess that's just steel plate or iron plate or something. Where's the empty barrel? Where are empty barrels? There are a lot of barrels, but where are the empty ones? I do not know. Me neither. Uh... They are in there somewhere. Uh, e. Oh, there they are. They Empty are barrel, just a steel plate. Next to circuits. Yep. yep. Oh, and we can make processing units now. And heat shielding. We can make all this fantastic stuff. Yeah. Um, Flying robot frames. Jetpack equipment mark one personal robot parts. Ooh, very fancy, very fancy. All right, so cliff explosives. We basically just need to take a steel plate and turn it into a barrel. I'm here, copper. And that's it. And then we'll hand feed the uh, grenades. So we'll just do. They need to become. Uh... Something like this, we will make an 
underground doing things here or whatever oh, the belt can go underneath it it doesn't matter which order the belt goes in so long as the belt gets through okay. do that do that tell you to make yeah these machines aren't even running and you're attacking them that and then we will get a, a chesty thing. Oh, we love chesty things. Yeah. Uh, what now? What are you attacking now? Oh, that's right. That, that wall. That wall's not actually very well strong anymore. Uh, and that's not right. very good English, but. Yeah, well, it's only a first language. Telling my first and only language. Actually, no, no. I speak I, I speak idiot as well. Yeah, well, that's a useful language. Very useful language. It just comes naturally to me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I actually speak quite a few languages to some degree. Oh, um, that. Uh, I don't need to do any of that. Yeah. Uh, well, I speak Danish, obviously. I, I I feel like I could I could get away with a lot of languages, um, particularly European languages, because mm -hmm. they all have a similar uh, mm. ilk to them. If you know what I mean, they all are. Uh... Yeah, Deutsch um, Sie. Yeah, yeah. They've they've all got very um, the, 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 a lot of words sound similar. Uh, in in all the languages, so it's like you could probably get away with oh, it. I've and uh... yeah, that that is true to some extent. To some yes, extent. there are some words which are completely broken. Um, uh, I get, but yeah, yeah. I think I feel I feel like I could get away with it. As well. I, 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 you know, any country, any country I'm in, I honestly feel like I could figure out a way to communicate with people if I needed to. Yeah, if nothing else, you can just use your hands. Like, That's uh, true. That's very true. Point, point at your mouth. Point at I'm hungry. I, I I would more rub my belly for that. Yeah, that's true. I, I would be like, yeah, maybe maybe point at my mouth and rub my belly and be like, where mm. do I get food? Yeah. Yeah, that worked. That worked. But I I am extremely lucky, and it's not not sounding big headed, but I'm extremely lucky that English is my primary language because. The world basically speaks English. That is true. Uh, that is true. Let's, let's be honest with it. The world basically speaks English. So yeah, um, yeah. So uh, very. Yeah, but I, I, I agree. I, I feel lucky that I consider English my first language as much as I do Danish. So if I'm really bad at English, that tells you how good I am at, at my native language. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I do. I mean, who needs to speak? Is you know, it's not like we're speaking for uh, um, uh, uh, you know, for doing important things like narrating videos or anything. You know. So. No, no, exactly, exactly. No, but I, I really do consider English as much my native language as I do Danish. Uh, most of the time, when I dream, I dream in English. Uh, whenever I read something, I read in English. I, I read English books, uh, even if. It's a Danish author, really. Uh, I, I'll read the book in English uh, because I prefer reading English. Um, okay. Yeah, it's more comfortable to me for some reason. So. It's a sulfuric acid. But. Uh, that is a photo. I do. I, I mean, I. I speak some degree of, of, of quite a few languages, uh, by no means fluent of anything except Danish and English. Uh, I used to speak fluent <laughs> Swedish. Now, if you just randomly dropped off somewhere in the world, you could you could get away with figuring out. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. I mean, uh, I speak some Italian, some Spanish, some German. Um, some Thai. Uh, French is a problem. I don't do French. 
I, I'm British, so I have to say good on you. <laughs> yeah. But French is um, such a difficult language. It's just so hard. I mean, just France, you know. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have nothing against French, but the Englishman in me, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so found the French. <laughs> As a as a as a as a Brit, you 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 have to uh, be uh, opposed to the French, of course. I understand that. Um, oh, I'm good. I'm, I'm I'm glad you understand. Yeah, but I I speak a little bit of Bahasa Indonesia, uh, so yeah, I I speak a few languages a little bit. Enough to at least not starve. That's the important thing. Can, can, can you speak enough to somebody to be? Can you help me? Is what you basically need to learn. Yeah. I feel like everyone should be able to try and figure out. You know, can you help me? Because mm. um, I feel like a lot of native people, if if you were in, you know, if you were like seriously injured or something like that, um, a lot of people would be um, like, "Oh, this person needs help." Uh, I don't speak their language, but I know someone who might. Um, yeah. Yeah. Probably. Oh, look, that guy's leg has been torn off. I think I'll go find someone who can talk to him. Yes. So, Doc, what's he saying? He's saying, ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, right. Interesting. Yeah. It makes sense. Makes sense. It does. It does make sense. The universal language of pain. Yep. All right, so we have more than a hundred explosive cannon shells now. Uh, Excellent. I have a tank. Uh, I do not. We have more than. I've got a tank. I've got a tank in my pocket. Okay. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, are you happy to see me? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh dear. <laughs> uh, well, well, well. Thank you very much for the tank. You're you're welcome. I don't know what you can do with it, but you know, uh, I thought maybe it might be of use to you. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, we're also making cliff explosives now, and we have a few of those. So oh. I, I think. Uh, oh. Mission accomplished for the explosives for now, at least. My brain has failed me. Oh no! That's better. That's better. There we go. There we go. I completely forgot that you actually need to have a leave, leave a space for inserters to do their thing. The space is helpful. It, it is. It's, it's extremely helpful. Uh, inserters are not very good at inserting stuff if they can't uh, insert stuff. No, that's true. That's true. <laughs> that is very, very um, true. <clears throat> Alright, so uh, I have a few I'd of these. i bring that line along and do that. I feel like I could. I feel like that would work. There we go. What else can I you put in this thing? Plate, which we can get from here. Recycle, reuse, the possibilities are in this. I have to make a jetpack and see what that does, don't I? Uh, oh no, oh no, I don't want to... Uh, 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 yeah, do you know what, screw it, why not? Stop attacking us. But we like you. We want to be your friends. No, you don't. No way of getting off. I, I, I... Sulfur? <clears throat> yeah. You can get it right there. Where, where yeah, you're pulling I, the belt I, out. I, I, I know, I know. And don't don't look at the build I've done because I just realised I need another belt going in there. Uh, oh. Longhand inserters. Uh, <clears throat> longhanded yeah, inserters be, are your friends. It's going to have to be a longhand inserter. Uh, you could put it in down here, this way, where I am now. Because then you can put the long head inserters in there. That makes sense. That makes sense. But 
Right now you're you're putting popper on there. Yeah, because of uh smart belts. Uh... There we go. We are out of time though. And we are out of time. I've done it again. I've done it yeah. again. No, it's mm -hmm. fine. It's fine. Not a problem. So yeah, we'll have to come in next time and carry on from there. Yep. So, uh, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, I need glass. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> we hope you have a good fun, <laughs> and we hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun. Bye-bye.